welcome you all now our topic is uh, kinematics of machines inversions of mechanism in previous session we discussed inversions of mechanism of uh, four bar chain in this session we cover inversions of single slider crank chain as you know the in single slider crank chain the this one is crank connecting rod and the piston so this mechanism mainly convert reciprocation into rotary motion this mechanism converts the reciprocation into rotary motion it is a basic modification of the four bar chain inversion of single slider crank chain mechanism is the basic modification of the basic four bar mechanism it consists of one sliding pair and three turning pair one sliding pair and three turning pair here is the sliding pair and one two three three turning pairs so it consists of one sliding and three turning pairs mainly convert reciprocation into rotary motion uh, like in steam engines here its inversions inversions are first inversion see the first inversion take this uh, figure also as the example practical application uh, here the link 1 is fixed link 1 means frame is fixed and link 2 rotates link 2 rotates and link 3 oscillates link 3 oscillates here is the mechanism link 1 is fixed 2 rotates and 3 oscillates 4 number 4 is the slider it will reciprocates so this is the first case of inversion of the slider crank mechanism second inversion in first case example is IC engines steam engine compressor pumps and second case second inversion we cover with worth quick return motion mechanism here is the mechanism link 2 is fixed here the link 2 is fixed 3 link 3 rotates and 4 reciprocates 1 link 1 is oscillates see the figure 2 fixed link 1 is oscillates and 3 rotates link 3 is rotates so a practical application of first inverse uh, second inversion is uh, with the worth quick return motion mechanism with the worth quick return motion mechanism rotary or genome engine so rotary or genome engine and third inversion so third inversion see the third inversion practical application crank and slaughter lever quick return mechanism oscillating cylinder engine he, these are all the cases for third inversion very very important topic is crank and slaughter lever quick return motion mechanism here the link 3 is fixed link 3 is fixed and link 2 is rotates link 2 is rotates and 4 4 it will oscillates like link 4 is reciprocates sorry and link 1 is oscillates link 1 is as which one is uh, oscillating cylinder engine this is called oscillating cylinder engine so this is the case of second third inversion of crank and slaughter lever and last inversion is fourth inversion pendulum pump or bull engine here the link 4 slider are fixed link 2 rotates and 1 reciprocates and 3 oscillates here is the case of fourth inversion link 1 2 3 4 so these are all the cases of first in crank and this is slider crank mechanism first inversion first inversion link 1 is fixed second inversion link 2 is fixed third link 3 is fixed and 4 4 is fixed so here the practical applications we discussed so this is the very important inversions of single slider crank chain here now our problem based area just you see the figure this case is called uh, crank and slaughter lever mechanism which is you mainly used in um, shaping machine and cutting machines we cover we see the applic practical application shaping and uh, slotting machines here is the ram here is the crank here is the crank so whenever the motor rotates the crank will rotates then this oscillating slotted bar 
e1 to e2 it will goes e1 to e2 it will goes this e1 to e2 is called a cutting stroke e1 to e2 is cutting stroke and e2 to e1 is return stroke here the alpha is the one covering angle and beta is another covering angle from b1 to b2 that is called a cutting stroke that covers larger angle and takes time more the return stroke b2 b1 covers the lesser angle beta so the angle alpha greater than beta the time of cutting stroke is more here the case beta is lesser than alpha the return stroke time is less this is very important and also the half angle 90 degree minus alpha by 2 so here is the slider here is the slider crank crank fixed link fixed link so this mechanism is crank and slaughter lever mechanism in another case with the quick return mechanism link l1 is slaughter lever this total link is a slaughter lever l2 is a fixed link l2 is a fixed link and l3 is a crank l3 is crank here the l3 is crank and l4 slider so this this is also e1 to e2 cutting stroke and e2 to e1 on return stroke so these two cases crank and slaughter lever and with the words quick return mechanism as the very important uh, from our problem area so you go through and see the animations and try to understand the basic concept behind this very very important crank and slaughter lever and with the word quick return mechanism so another case crank and slaughter lever sorry crank in clank and slaughter lever mechanism used in shaping and slatting here in crank and slaughter lever quick return motion mechanism used in shaping machine and slatting machines the time of cutting stroke equal to alpha divided by 2 pi n and the return stroke is beta divided by 2 pi n so since the beta lesser than the alpha the time of return stroke is less than the cutting stroke the ratio of time of cutting stroke divided by time of return stroke equal to alpha divided by 2 pi n divided by beta divided by 2 pi n which means alpha divided by beta angle and alpha divided by 360 degree minus alpha equal to 360 degree minus beta here the travel of tool or length of stroke e1 e2 equal to 2 into oc into ab by oa the length of travel that length of the stroke equal to 2 into oc divided by ab by oa with the word quick return mechanism next case here is the time of cutting stroke equal to alpha divided by 2 pi n return stroke beta divided by 2 pi n so ratio is alpha divided by 2 pi n beta divided by 2 pi n angle alpha divided by angle beta alpha divided by 360 degree and 360 degree minus beta by beta so here uh, alpha greater than 180 degree therefore the ratio of alpha divided by 360 degree minus alpha greater than always 1 alpha greater than 180 the ratio always greater than 1 the time required for cutting stroke to return cutting stroke greater than return stroke same case the time required for cutting stroke is greater than return stroke the length of stroke equal to e1 e2 equal to 2 into ad just you refer the figure again and again and you will get more and clear idea about these things now we go the problem area solved problems on crank and slaughter lever with crank and slaughter lever and with tooth mechanism this is the very very important because all the public sector exams and every problematic area most probably the questions will rise from this area see the figure first so this is the crank and slaughter lever c1 c2 under the cutting stroke here b1 b2 under the extreme positions of the slaughter lever and half covering i equal to beta by 2 that is 90 minus beta by 2 here o is the fixed point here is the case so problem is uh, in a crank and slaughter lever mechanism distance between the fixed center is 240 
240 is the fixed center and the length of the driving crank is 120. The length of the driving crank is A1 to B1 equal to 120. Determine, determine inclination of the slotted bar with the vertical in the extreme position. Inclination of the slotted bar with the vertical, with the vertical in the extreme position and the time of ratio of cutting stroke to return stroke. Here, first of all, what is given data? OA equal to 240 mm and AB1 equal to AB2 equal to 120 mm. Inclination of slotted bar less than AO. Let it just you take angle AOB1. Angle AOB1 equal to inclination of the slotted bar. So we know that sine of angle a o b 1 that is equal to sin 90 minus beta by 2 that is equal to a b 1 a b 1 divided by a o equal to 120 divided by 240 that is equal to 0.5 so here the sign you know opposite by hypotenuse and also sin minus theta sin minus theta so just you apply the trigonometry we will get 0.5 is the inclination here the angle of a o B angle of A O B one sine inverse of 0.5 we will get the 30 degree. So here is the degree is 30 degree is the extreme position the inclination of the vertical bar. Just you apply the trigonometry and the time of cutting stroke to the return stroke. You know that 90 degree minus beta by 2 equal to 30 degree from this. So here beta equal to 120 degree, here beta equal to 120 degree, just you uh, apply the trigonometry. And time of cutting stroke to time of return stroke alpha by beta equal to 360 minus beta divided by beta, we will get 2 ratio is 2. So uh, in crank and in this mechanism, the inclination is 30 degree and the ratio of cutting stroke to time of return stroke equal to 2 next in the above example the length of the slotted bar 450 mm find the length of the stroke assuming the length of stroke and uh, passes through the extreme positions of free end of lever refer the previous figure also oe1 equal to oe2 that is a stroke length 450 mm the length of stroke equal to 2 2 into oe1 into ab1 by oa so we got 450 for previous figure in Widworth quick return motion mechanism the distance between the fixed center is 60 mm and the length of the driving crank is 90 mm the length of driving stroke of ramp passes through the crank is 90 mm the line of stroke passes through the center of the rotation of slotted whose free end is connected to the ramp by a connecting rod link free end is connected to ramp by connecting rod link calculate the ratio of time of cutting stroke to return stroke see this is the extreme position see you now you read the problem this is the extreme position case and also a c2 equal to c to b here is the without quick return mechanism the question is calculate the ratio of time of cutting stroke to return stroke here a b equal to 60 mm b c equal to 90 mm the extreme position of the driving crank figure see uh, see the figure geometry so cos beta by 2 which means cos beta by 2 that is equal to ab by ac2 ab by cos theta equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse ab by ac2 so 60 minus uh, 60 divided by 90 equal to 0.667 here the that uh, because uh, ac2 equal to bc ac2 equal to bc or beta by 2 equal to 48.2 degree or beta equal to 96.4 degree the time of cutting stroke return stroke alpha by beta here we got 2.735 so uh, just you feel uh, these are all the mechanisms very very important from mechanical point of view uh, I will put uh, animation for this uh, inversions and quick return motion mechanisms you follow my channel here you again and again you will uh, see the formula and try to understand what's going on please refer your books also thank you